Yo, what is up, guys? Hello, chat. How are you? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Elden Ring. It's finally here. Yes, yes. Hang on, just making sure everything's set up here. And Leica, or Leek. I'm sorry if I pronounced that terribly, but thank you so much. Yes, and thank you, Bandai, as well. Uh, they're the reason I get to stream this a little bit early for you guys before the actual release. There we go. All right, so we're at the first step here. We're making a new character. Um, they're very different than the network test, though, from what I've seen. Uh, we no longer have access to the Bloody Wolf, which is what I chose because I, I usually go in, like, New Souls games the route of, like, quality, maybe a little bit more strength leaning because more weapons tend to have higher strength requirements, so I like to do that. And Genesis, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome. Let's go. It's finally here, guys. It's finally here. It's pretty insane. And China number one, thank you, man. Thank you. So I think I'm going to do the same thing with the, with the weapon class here. So I think I'm, I was leaning either a Vagabond or Samurai. They're very similar. Really, the only difference is one stat point in Dex. And uh, the Vagabond has one more in Faith. So later down the road, if you wanted to reallocate and be like a Strength Faith, Strength Int, Dex Faith, Dex Int, like... I feel like the Vagabond's a little bit more balanced. You have less wasted in Arcane, which is also like the... I'm guessing like bleed and like certain types of magic and weapons as well. So I'd make a different class for that entirely, I think. So I think I'm going to start Vagabond just for the stat spread. Um, I already created a face to save you guys time. Uh, I do need a little bit of help, though, <laughs> on deciding the hair. I'm so, not ready for so this. So as you can see here... I need my coffee. See you on the other there's side. A, there's a lot of options. <laughs> I... I, I was kind of like, wait, I can bring the face forward. So this is what I made. They're similar. Um, I, I like these two hair colors, but I can show off some of the hair colors and customization for you guys. Um, just really quickly. <laughs> the, the white, it, it, like I usually go white, but for some reason the hair, um, it, it looks so realistic that the white looks older. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it's hard to explain. But here, let me just grab one of these as a template. We'll grab uh, you. We'll just grab you as a template, and I'll show you guys the hair and stuff just to show it off. Um, 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 um. Uh, alter hair and face. Yeah, hair. Hair type. So there's lots of different hair types, actually. Also, Paolo, thank you so much, man, by the way. And uh, Mangi Mangifera, get your coffee. I already downed mine as well. I already downed mine. Um, so, well, these are... I'll just go through all the hair options just to give you guys an example. So you guys, when you make your character, you have an idea. Um, there we go. Some pretty basic short hairstyles. Oh, that's not too bad. What is this? Oh, the, the almost the middle part. The iconic. Oh, there's the iconic middle part one. So some of these look similar to like Dark Souls 3 haircuts. But, uh... Yeah, it's, it's way more in-depth, the character creator. And the, the hairstyle looks much better. That one's pretty cool for like a samurai type haircut. I, I, I dig that. That's not my favorite. <laughs> I can't see. What's this? Oh, like a, a man bun like half down. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, yeah, I know. It's it's pretty. I, I find it strange. So console release is interesting, huh? Like, is it based on region? Because I heard that people in New Zealand get to play extremely early today on console. Are, are releases on console region locked? And that's why everyone gets it at different times. Lucky bastard. I'm definitely choosing this haircut though, because look at it. Level. It's it's the long one. We finally have a, oh wait, we finally have a long hairstyle in Elden Ring. I think that's all that I've ever really wanted, to be honest. <laughs> so really it just comes down to the hair color now. I have the red and the blonde. Um, you could, there's a palette here, and you could uh, straight up like customize the hair color with sliders, however you'd like. Uh, can I check 22 again? Yeah, no problem. I'll go back to that. I know what it is. Um, I tried out a bunch of different hair colors, to be honest. And the ones that are picked here are very nice. Like The color palette seems strange on the left, but when you put it on your character, um, it looks a lot better than you'd think. I was like just looking through the color palette. They have like some nice blondes, you know, like that. That looks like a real blonde compared to like what you can kind of get in Elden or in Dark Souls 3. Yo, Stefan, thank you so much, dude. Super dude. I'm so excited. I just want to show you guys the character creator because I know some people 
really enjoy making their characters. Even like this, this looks really good too, you know? Um, but out of all the colors I've shown, I really think I do enjoy either like a dark. Yeah, the color palette's are really good, David. It's, it's pretty nuts. Better than what I would make. I was sitting there trying to make custom colors, but like the shading they chose is really good. Overall, though, I either like this one, to be honest. I'll just go back to my load faces and we could just... It was it was really between the red or the... I wouldn't even call this blonde. It's like a like a peach, almost like a skin color. Super excited to watch your stream, sir. What do you guys think out of these two? Red or the blondish, like, tan? <laughs> I don't even know what to call that color, to be honest. Oh yeah, it is. It is location region locked. That's pretty crazy. See, PC is universal. I mean, universal, worldly. <laughs> uh, it's got a world release, so every like every time zone's getting it at the same time on PC. That's a lot of red. <laughs> That's a lot of red. All right. All right, we'll go red. Screw it. That's a nice red too. You know, like it's not too vibrant. It looks like a legit red color you would see on uh, like a regular hairstyle. Uh, the body I just have set. I prefer like pretty uh, petite for the armor to not look too bulky, so I just I just made the face. Oh, uh, we got a name error. That is the hardest part. Um, what do you guys think of this name? I was like thinking of names. What about Aurelia? Is that a cool name? Or Scarlet? She's got red hair. It's kind of basic, but the name Scarlet's pretty cool. <laughs> Would kind of fit your red hair choice, you know? Scarlet with one T or two. Blondie. <laughs> Actually, how is it normally spelled? Hang on, let me just check here. Is it two T's? It's normally two T's. Okay. Titania. Oh, that's kind of cool. You guys, you guys like the Aurelia name? Huh. I'm, I'm down with Aurelia. Aurelia sounds fine. Okay, okay. I was thinking about A names because I like them. And I usually use Aria, but I think I like Aurelia. Aurelia spelled like that <laughs> instead of the O because I like A names. Scarlet's cool too, though. That's that's a way you could spell Aurelia, right? I'm not being weird. Yeah. Yeah, that's a way you could spell it. Cool. Cool, cool. Aurelia Scarlet. That's a, that's a long name. All right. I think we're good. Wait, no. We got to choose a keepsake. I almost started with nothing. So from what I read on all of them, I just wondered what they were. Uh, this is like a small HP increase, kind of like the life ring. In DS3, yeah, you like you'll you'll find that. So I I mean you'll find all of these, but I don't really care about having that right away. Golden seed is nice because it actually gives you an extra Estus. That's super useful if you want to use weapon arts and stuff. Having more like Ashen or like regular Estus, huge. Uh, Pavel, thank you so much, dude. <laughs> I thought your name was Pavel Havel because I, I once fought a Pavel Havel. That's funny. I'll stick only for character creation. Totally. Thank you, man. Um, fanged imp ashes are like those uh, summons you're gonna use. I'm not a huge fan. I haven't really tried them, but like they use your FP, and I'd rather just fight with my build than have the spirit summons personally. But if you enjoy that kind of stuff, it's there for you. Cracked pots like a crafting item. Stone sword key um, unlocks things like Pharaoh's lock stones. But you actually find a decent amount from uh, what what I've seen. So uh, stone sword key, I probably will. You could just buy some from merchants sometimes. I I'd probably honestly go with the. Estus myself, I think. Because, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, early early Estus is nice for, like, long travel. You don't have to sit much. I think we're good. I think we're good to go. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. You need to figure out the fastest route to an ultra, dude. Yeah, like, learning all the weapons is going to be crazy. The game is huge. Let's just enjoy the cinematic. The great Elden Ring was shattered. In our home, across the fog, the land. is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, 
Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Maricus offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. She looks so cool. A war leading to abandonment. And I want that katana. By the greater will. <laughs> oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. The loathsome dung eater. I'm sorry. The all knowing. <laughs> oh my god, that broke me. I was like very in depth into the story, and then loathsome dung eater. <laughs> okay. Asher, thank you, man. And Kyle, thank you as well. Watch out for the mad taint. <laughs> the other name choosing was pretty on point. And one mother <laughs> whom Grace would again bless. <laughs> the best part was, man, the voice actor was going hard for that part, too. <laughs> so Gideon, the all-knowing, the mad <laughs> dung eater. <laughs> uh, I'm dead. It's a great way to wake, wake up. <laughs> to stand before the Elden. And become the Elden Lord. Oh, we will become the Elden Lord, yes. Yeah, it's actually really good. The voice acting's on point. True. I don't know. If you were eating a lot of dung, you'd probably go mad too. Oh, in game. The ring. Oh, yeah. If you uh, pre ordered, you got early access. Or not early access. If you pre ordered, you got the uh, gesture. Also, one second here. I just want to see. Uh, is the audio good for you guys before we actually dive into the full game? Because I don't want it to <laughs> be a hindrance if the game's lower than my voice. I know cutscenes are a bit loud, though, so it's it's hard to tell. Okay. Seems good. Audio's good? Nice, nice. Okay, we're perfect then. Good to go. That's all I really wanted Watch to know. Watch out for the mad tape, bro. Audio's perfect. I, I worked on that a little bit before we started, so nice. All right, so what do we start with? This is the Vegabond. There's our stats. We have a Halberd. Oh, I was like, why am I heavy? But that's because we're holding a Halberd and a Straight Sword. Okay. Got no Talismans, which are rings. These are our three weapon choices. Um, I'm definitely going to try Straight Sword first. That damage difference is, like, negligible, and it's a lot heavier. So, yeah. Um, Tarnished Wizened Finger. Nice. Which does. I'm going to try to read all the items for you guys as well. If you see something you like, just... Me oh, it's the right messages. All right. I have to remember to do that. I don't think in any playthrough have I written a message. But it's got to be a good message, you know? Um, okay. <laughs> dishonest. I'm guessing that's some, like, late game boss. The dishonest dung eater. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I really wonder what the level upgrade of the weapon is going to be. 
Oh, yeah, true. Anytime there's a pack of dogs, we should just write a message, dogs ahead. That's like all you need to know to survive this game. We try to write a message. Um, but when we see something worth writing a message of, that's interesting. That's... Oh, the iconic First Souls boss. Oh, boy. Except for I fought this thing in the network test. And uh, it wasn't weak. <laughs> oh, and I have no Estus. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. First challenge, I guess. Um, I don't know what to move set. Okay, it screams. It's got four arms. Oh, and it can lunge. Okay. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa there, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we'll take this nice and slow until we know what the hell we're dealing with. Weapon art. Oh, God! <laughs> it, the many... Does it, does it stop? Does it stop attacking? Oh, oh, I did a counter by accident. That was meant to be a running attack. Oh, I don't think we're beating this. No, sir. <laughs> Ah, okay, we died there apparently, <laughs> but we're still alive. Oh, uh, maybe it's meant to like bring you to one health and then bring you somewhere. Okay. Yeah, the scream drained my health so hard. I guess that's meant to happen. Because you didn't even really die. I was still alive and running around. I died to sound damage. I did. <laughs> that's funny. Yo, enemy use Screech. It lowered my attack. The opening cinematic was pretty sweet. This is the one that we've seen the trailer for, I bet. I remember the, the horse walking up. Oh! Oh, he gives you, like, a weapon if you do beat the first game. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, it looks possible. Don't you just have to, like, redo it and play it very passive. Fortune is on her side. It does. If you tried it a couple times, I'm sure we get it. found her here after all. It's, it's our... Uh, wait, is that our horsey? That's the real question. One of her kind is sure to see. The Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. You know what I'm always afraid of in Souls games first playthroughs? The route you take in terms of like good and evil. <laughs> like the ending you get. It's going to be so hard to do that in like an open world one. All right, this is it. This is the true beginning right here. This looks like uh, where they started you off in the network test as well. Yeah, the, the cave. There we go, and now we got some Estus. <laughs> uh, it gets attuned. Um, Yeah, this does look like the little test area. Uh, I forget how to get the item, but it's not in this cave. I do remember that, actually. Brave Tarnished, take the plunge of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. Alright, we're going down. We're going down. Tis dark. Tis. <laughs> now it's bright. We have the, the sight of grace in front of us. Yo, Nathan, thank you so much, man. Hang on. I was actually just making my PC room completely black, so all I see is this screen in front of me. Because <laughs> that's all I care about. Okay. Uh, we got the grace point. We head on. What computer specs do I have to run this? Uh, my PC is pretty beefy. It's uh, it, It's got 64 gigs of RAM. <laughs> And it was because when I was building the my second PC, uh, like my my well, it's my main PC. I used my old one as like a stream PC. Um, but my main one that I was building, I was choosing all the parts on Part Picker and. Glad I could finally oh, catch dude, a Nathan, that's actually Happy so crazy, heaven. man! Thank you so much. Uh, and I used a site called NZXT for the part building, 
and they had a build that was basically the same as mine that I chose, but like $500 cheaper and it had double the RAM. And I was like, what? So I just, I went with their like creator PC build. <laughs> I don't need it, but it was cheaper to do. So I did it. Yeah, 60, I don't, I don't need the, the 64, but it's there. Uh, and then I have a 3090, but I mean, you don't really need it like a 3090 to run Elden Ring. It's just, that's what I have. Booty! <laughs> Alright, so these guys are all dying in one hit. Maybe he won't. I don't want to try. How strong is the weapon? Are okay, it's still... It's Is this a parry shield? It is a parry shield. Okay. So, the straight sword starts with the the straight sword weapon art from, like, Dark Souls 3. But you can, I think, implant all Ashes of War on interchangeable weapons. Have I tried the halberd out yet? Uh, no, because I'm heavy. I could take off the shield. Yeah, there we go. Gah! Halberd's pretty cool looking, though. I, I kind of like... Like, I do like halberds. It really depends on the enemy I'm fighting. It's cool to have options. We have, like, a straight sword for, like, faster enemies if we need to punish. And then we have the halberd. Gah! Oh, yeah, that's right. So they implemented this thing where... I mean, it's in Dark Souls 3 as well, I guess, right? I like the shield, though, because I could, I could show off some counterattacks to you guys, but... Um, wait, what is this? Uh, Sir Godric, our first little test boss. Can we backstab a boss if they look like a human? We can! <laughs> uh, that was a lot of damage! Ah! How did that... Oh, I guess they have, like... Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, he back stubs. Where's my gestures? That's the map. I don't have them bound. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think I'm going like strength, maybe quality, but I'm gonna start leveling like health and strength first, cause like I feel like most souls weapons require more strength and dexterity on average, just based on like Dark Souls three. Oh, I just got a gesture. Cool. And it says strength. Uh, you know, uh, kind of, kind of just chose for me our weapon class. <laughs> Backstab tutorial. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you could just kill him with like R2s. He's really weak from what that showed. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is what they look like, by the way. The Pharaoh's Lockstone things. You can put it in here and it'll open up like a little separate area. From what I've seen, they have like some, some have bosses, some have loot. So I'm just going to keep marked or of that whenever I want to come back here with one. Although this is our map right now, which we don't have. So... <laughs> Let's uh, just progress a little bit here. I know Jordan. I I went with Vagabond because it's pretty it's pretty knight-ish across the board. So I feel like I can reallocate later to whatever I want. I'm gonna start strength-ish quality. I never start as like a magic because I find you get the powerful spells in that, like Dark Souls games later on, and yeah. Plus your FP so low when you're like early class, you know, like. Overall, I feel like magic just becomes better in the end. Uh, I have tested a bunch of them clutch. Uh, cancels are gone. R1 swaps are gone. Um, I'm pretty sure they patched all the basic ones. You can't animation stop. You can't cancel. Uh, I've tested all those. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Mm, I did, indeed. Have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Oh yeah, this is the guy without that just calls us <laughs> single. The strength of runes and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. This man tells you you're gonna die alone. That's basically <laughs> There is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. So he's telling I us he'll be there for us. With grace. All right. The golden light that gives life to you, tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at yes, times. Yes, I see. That is the guidance of grace, the path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. 
it will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> Grace's got the okay. Oh, veil oh, he's got more. Over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the, the Grafted. I like to exhaust the dialogue. Set off, I should think. To Castle Stormvale on the cliff. If you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. That all you got? You yeah, okay. That's if you nice. So yeah, I think it ex it's just explaining that uh, when you guys start, as you get to the grace points, they, they pretty much tell you the direction to go for the main storyline. Obviously, you can branch off and look at the entire area, which you should. <laughs> you should, because there's there's going to be so much to the game. Yo, Brody, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. They did, yeah, yeah, they did. They fixed all those issues. I'm surprised, honestly. Uh, the effigy, I think that's for, like, co-op and stuff. All right, so we got Horsey Boy. We fought you. First try in the network test. Can I do that with a straight sword and much less health? Let's see. Bah! Woo! Horsey jump. Woo! Okay, so you take half my health with one swing. So we're gonna play this carefully. <laughs> one. I, I, I vaguely remember his attack patterns. He's got one more, I think. Our highest damaging attack is definitely... Our stupid weapon art. <laughs> the straight sword is uh, kind of a weaker start. Oh, I remember also in the network test you get frame drops fighting him down on this like hill area here, but it's fine. Whoa! <laughs> Come here. Okay, buddy. Oh! Oh! Okay, we got him there. Maybe we'll get him again. Oh yeah, there's the stun. So, if you do like enough poise damage to enemies, I guess I'm gonna call it poise damage. I don't exactly know its full term. Um, you you stagger them though when you do enough of that. Like if you hit them twice, like a weapon art, maybe more. I just did twice and it wasn't enough. Maybe you gotta do like a third one. Yeah, like right there, you'll start to stagger them. But he is definitely stronger than the network test. I will say that without a doubt. 100%. Can't see. Woo! Get full health quick. No, I always go for that opening and he wrecks you. Oh my Jesus. Okay, I can't lock on because the tree's there. <laughs> Okay. Jeez. <laughs> All right. He's still tough, though. Especially when you have nothing. You don't have to fight him first, by the way. Like, I like to, to get him out of the way so I can search. That's what I did in the network test, too. But... GG, though. <laughs> Fucking... That's a tough, like, first boss that they have just wandering around. Rise, ye tarnished. Thank you, Peter. I appreciate it. I can level up now. Love the content, bro. Um, wait. Oh, yeah, we can't. You have to find the maiden first. So it is the exact same as the network test. Like, some parts I think are going to be obviously different, but um, you don't get your horse or the ability to level till you find Melina. And I do remember where she is, so I'll go that way. Check the halbert. <laughs> Golden. Oh, yeah, yeah. You mean the boss weapon. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I was just uh, walking towards the church. So let's see. It is a 30 strength, 14 dex, 12 faith requirement. That's why I chose Vagabond too, because no matter if you go strength, you're going to need some dex for weapons that are even main strength scaling. So I'm probably not going to use this because I don't want to be faith. But even like strength weapons usually require a certain amount of dex. So, okay, I'm going to also try to be, you know, a full-on collector. I'm going to try to grab every little shiny we see. Um, 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 um. 
Okay, our second grace point. There's no soul transposition. I'm pretty sure there will be, but not for every boss. I don't remember. I think I heard something about that. Oh, can I add a charge to my flask? Oh, I can. I could have had an extra flask for that fight. Not that we needed it, but you know. So you need... Use a golden seed, and then this is... Use a sacred tear, which we don't have. Okay. Smithing stones, I'm guessing... Reinforcements up to plus three. Okay, I'm gonna pay attention to like the names of the smithing stones because uh, they're gonna show what our weapon can go to, and I really wonder what the cap is for the leveling. You're a tarnished. I can, I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kale. Kale. Purveyor. Our first. What are his you know, recommendations? If you can spare the rooms, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really. The kit okay. costs a bundle, but the important thing is that you sub. Uh, so it's kind of like, yeah, so from what I've gathered, you can you can craft like arrows, like all the things you can buy from merchants usually that are like regular consumables you can craft. So this is what this is, right? Enables item crafting. So we're going to buy that. It's pretty cheap. And then these will tell us holy water, uh, glowstones, cured meat. I'm not going to buy. I'm only going to buy the ones that I think I want. Um, bone arrow, bone bolts. So I can, I can just come to him whenever I want to, for the first time, use a bow, which I don't have yet anyway. So we're not going to buy that. But Oh, uh, yeah. The full release is going to be uh, 6 p.m. today on Steam. And then uh midnight for na consoles i'm not sure i think yeah consoles are tied to their region so you guys will get it on console whenever it's midnight for your local region i suppose okay we'll head this way i just know there's gonna be a gray rat type npc probably the thing is i wonder how many npcs we'll actually find in our first playthrough you know like this game is gigantic to be honest it's not like a, a steady path like a dark souls game so Depending on, like, where you go first, you might happen upon different things, you know? Yeah, console is regional. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I, at first, I thought it was time zone. I was like, time zone? That'd be weird. No, it's it's regional. Wah, wah. Trying to make my way over to the, the town here to get our Melina. Eh. I see the grace point. We'll go there first, and then we'll set off on our journey. Here's the hoping patches. Yeah, uh, has patches been in every Souls game? I believe, except for like Sekiro, but they did go out of their way to say that Sekiro wasn't like any relation to Souls, right? In storyline, so. Making my way downtown. <laughs> That'll be stuck in my head forever. Thank you. He was even in Bloodborne. Okay. There's a chance he's here then. Oh, yes. Our waifu. Uh, yeah, Caesar. When you're out of combat, you don't use stamina to run. It was like that in the network test, too. It's pretty... It's good because, I mean, in open world, like... Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you're like... An enemy has, like, a, an appearance of you. Like, you could be far away from the enemy. Greetings. But if it's seen you, like, your stamina will start draining. Traveler. If it's, like... From engaging you the fog I am Melina our first waifu I offer you an accord I still stand by the fact that they they paused on that I because she has her other one like forcibly closed Have you in some heard way. Of the finger maidens, they serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you, I am afraid. Man, everyone out here calling us single. <laughs> I can play the role of maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. I will accept settle. because I need to level up. <laughs> Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. 
Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Oh, it's our steed. Our spectral steed whistle. Oh, yeah, triangle is how you accept things. Great so weird. The torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Yo, torrent, my main man. Okay, well, let's Shall level up first. And since I don't know the route I want, I'm going to just start off with health, as all should. <laughs> and then I'll probably go... Actually, how many levels is that? That's four levels. Like, the scaling on early weapons is terrible. Look at that. Four damage for four levels. So we'll just start with a bit more health, and then after that, we'll grab the requirements for early weapons that we find. I think that's the easiest thing to do. Probably the route I'm going to go. Yo, Narukumo, thank you so much, man. And Josiah, I appreciate it, man. Don't worry. It's all good. <laughs> oh, God. Commissioning some art for Melina, huh? Actually, wait. Is there anything else there? Is there like a... You can sort chests. You can do your flasks at every bonfire. Memorize every spell. But you still, I think, have to go to the, the upgrade tables to upgrade your weapons, so... Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, also. Um... What you can do is you can hotkey things here by holding triangle. So what I tend to do is I hotkey my, my horsey. So I can horsey around quicker, basically. Okay, well, let's just tackle this area first. There were a bunch of dogs here in the network test. If they still are, I'm going to be very upsetty spaghetti. Let's try it down there. Okay, yeah, those work really well. It doesn't give you, like, poise, though, from what I remember. So you have to... Be pretty damn careful with when you choose to do the counterattack. Because it won't, it doesn't like give you any invincibility or anything. It's just like a straight up deflect. Gee, yeah. Oh, okay. The timing is so different on the wake ups. I just want to like. Whoop. You have to wait till the enemies are like fully standing before you can hit them, it seems. If you get a crit, it won't automatically just give you the R2. Wait, hang on a second. There's a dungeon here. What is this? If you do, you get all the poise if you do it with an ultra. Exactly. But first, we gotta find an ultra. Therein lies the difficulty. Ah, uh, yeah, I've tried all those Siddharth. They're actually patched, yeah. No more easy weapon swaps. Well, as in, like, the, the straight sword animation thing, you know? That's gone. Same with the cancels, like the gesture, well, any could have a cancel. From what I've seen, anyway, from what I've tried. Alright, so we got big boy. Um, but we also got a dog, and the dog, the dog is my plague. So we're gonna kill the dog first. Dogs are always <laughs> the plague. Then we'll kill the big boy. Is there more here? And they just like coming out of the woodwork, goddamn. Although, to be honest, we can get loot off enemies. Enemies drop their armor and stuff. I would very much enjoy a nice night set, so. Yeah, from what I've seen, I watched some like spoiler videos with like leaked spells and stuff, and uh, there's some with really high requirements, like ridiculously high, that it makes me think that the soul level meta like might be higher later on, in my opinion. Cause like the highest int requirement we have in Dark Souls 3 is like 60, but here I've seen things with 70 in videos, so. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't uh, actually deflect him. Okay, fighting you near this wall. Getting kind of old. Okay, R2s are my best friend, I swear. I'm a fan of enemy stunning, and uh, R1 just isn't doing the trick anymore. Oh. Oh my god. I have 1 HP. <laughs> that was a bad place to decide to fight him. Okay, you did. That's fine. We're good. Don't fight a guy with a spear in a hallway. Learn from Chase's mistakes. <laughs> Bad choice. Okay, there we go. That's like the good wake up time. Okay, I'm just like testing out the enemy like AIs. Okay, cool. Yeah, the magic seems pretty, even in the trailer, the magic seems pretty insane. Like, it makes you want to do magic, but I know we're not going to get any of those OP spells early, right? So, uh, obviously, it's probably it's probably better to start physical for me anyway, but some people might... Oh, wow. Even the hitbox is really... You see that shit? What the hell? 
That didn't hit me. It was like grazing my knee. <laughs> Lori, Lori, wait, Lord Sworn's great sword. I could two hand this. Am I fat rolling then? Yeah, we gotta level endurance as well if we're gonna be using some of the uh, great sword weapon types pretty early. So health and endurance maybe. I could two hand that, so that's fine. I'm, I'm taking it slow in each area. I want to check what they've changed and what they've gotten. You're not on PC? What? I'm on PC. What the heck? What? Counter attack is my best friend. Be more confirmed. I don't know. Is it? That wasn't the Claymore, but I mean, that was a great sword. A flail. I'm also going to take the time to showcase all the weapons to you guys that I find. So, this is interesting. It's a new weapon type. Um, What does it say it is? Oh, it's just f flail. It doesn't give it a different weapon class. It's just a flail type. Okay. So, that's the R1. The R2 is like a, a forward heavy. And the weapon art. Oh, it's a stance. Oh, but it drains FP the longer you hold it. And you can like light attack out of it. And you can heavy attack out of it? Okay, so it, it's like a stance, but I'm guessing that stance will damage people over time. It needs 18 decks. That is interesting. I don't know why I've always thought of flails as being strength weapons. Definitely different. Oh, we have our horse now. That's right. Spin to win. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely spin to win. Yo, Simon, thank you so much, man. All right. I remember in the network test there was a dungeon over near the beginning, so we'll go over there quick. Just want to grab this. And do we have enough for a level to put into stamina to maybe, you know... Not yet, no. <laughs> Possibly not heavy roll with some of the heavier weapons we found. Uh, favorite thing right now? Uh, well, we just started. <laughs> so I couldn't really give you a real example of that. I don't know. Uh... Like, what's different? Like, if, it, if it's like the network test, I don't know. I still didn't really have, like, a favorite weapon class in it, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what I hate? I always pair get to grab drops from enemies because they die and then they have an item glow. You know, I wish the second their HP went away, they would start glowing. Because my impatient ass just turns the camera to look for the next enemy. <laughs> it's a really bad habit I have. I'm gonna try and fix that in this playthrough. That's why we're taking it slow. You know, normally I just kind of like run the route, but if I take it slow, I'll probably find everything. Um, hello, doggo. Will you jump up here? I, I'm not really keen on jumping into a pit of dogs. That's literally my nightmare fuel in Dark Souls. Oh, this is much better. Oh, I'm okay with this. Oh, see what I mean right there? I went for a counter attack, but uh, it doesn't work if they do a second attack. Yeah. So this is when light attack spam is good. Wolf OP. Wolf confirmed OP. Oh. Okay, well now we could probably jump on him. Well, or not. You know what? What about heavies? Did heavies stun him? Yeah, like I thought. Like, honestly, heavies seem to be the way for most things. Could you stop? <laughs> I'm plagued. I'm plagued. Dogs, bro. Cracked pot. Is that something you craft with? Oh yeah, so the way crafting works is a little interesting. You, These are the items that I can currently craft with the items that I found. So you can make fire bombs and stuff, but you need the plans to be able to create them. So you usually, from what I've seen, you buy them from the merchant and then you're able to create those uh, types of consumables, which is kind of interesting, you know? Interesting take on open world like that. I've never done that. Am I going to do invading? Oh, hell no. I don't know why so... I mean, I know... I, okay, listen. I love PvP, obviously. PvP channel for five years. But when a Souls game comes out, my excitement, personally, is learning the game. Like, I want to know all the areas. I want to know all the weapons, like, to focus on a build. I never really saw the point in early PvP because I don't, I don't really like low, low-level PvP in general. It's normally just, like, straight swords, starting gear. Like, I don't get anything from that, personally. Um, do we use an Estus? 
So I'm definitely going for like a first playthrough before I go invading. It's just like a preference. I've done that for like every Souls game. Alright, what's this? Uria. Oh wait, Azula. Uria. What the hell kind of English am I speaking? I don't know why I said... Oh my god! It's the same as the network test. It's the Gale Flail! <laughs> I coined that. The Gale Flail. <laughs> I'm gonna do exactly what I did to you back then. Weapon hurt your ass to death. <laughs> Okay, why does everything have a scream? <laughs> the Gale Flail! <laughs> Dodge it perfectly and then... Hooah, hooah. Yeah. When you're fighting a, f a boss for the first time, honestly, if you just take it patient and you don't run in on them and you learn some of their move patterns, it won't be too bad. Although, see right there, I thought... I personally thought it was over. <laughs> they like to add random swings at the end of the combos now. To mix it up on you. Woo. Yep. <laughs> jumping attack! I think jumping attacks also stun pretty well, so if that's something you want to give a go, go for it. Oh god, the Gale Flail, and I'm right in front of him. <laughs> cool. There we go. <laughs> He's a young Gale in his earlier years, you know? A young Gale. Oh, we got a talisman. Boosts fire damage. I guess absorption? Negation? Okay, that's like a little intro, little dungeon boss. Very short dungeon, but. Um. Yeah. That's what that's about, I guess. And then you can return to the beginning. Oh, yo, Ryan! Thank you so much, man. The game... Uh, so, I have early access from Bandai uh, for content creation. Um, no... Well, no. Uh, so, the, from what I've seen, the only thing that happens with a stutter is in, a, like, a certain area. Kind of like Dark Souls 3 when you walk through a doorway. Not here, obviously, but, like, there's, like, some loading points for, like, shaders. Uh... And after you've experienced that once, I don't, I haven't had any stutters. It'll just be in like a small corridor when things like, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's happened once when I was fighting, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the horse boss. Other than that, I haven't experienced any stutters. Okay, now we can level up a little bit. Only once though, 20 health. You know, 20 health and then we'll go a little bit of endurance and then whatever our requirements we need for strength. Okay, so from here, where can we go? Oh, we have the map. We found the map. I haven't really opened the map for you guys yet, have I? So yeah, this was like our starting area. We went to the church. Uh, the church is where you like upgrade your weapons and stuff. This is the Groveside Cave we just did. Um, this is where I've been, so let's just continue along here. I remember there being something down there. And the water as well has a couple dungeons, I'm pretty sure. Run smoothly on PS5. Yeah, it's great. Also, the reviews for the game are freaking insane. You know what else is cool that I like to do? <laughs> if you want, like, certain types of uh, day and stuff, you can pass time. So if you prefer playing in the dark, if you prefer playing at nightfall, noon, morning, like, I'll show you the scenery. Uh, it's a nice little touch, you know, because sometimes in Dark Souls 3, when you get to, like, a certain point in the game, your sky is always red. So now you have the preference of, like, making the time zone whatever you want for, like early morning gray or like nighttime or evening sunset. I thought that was a little cool touch. Hey, what's up here? I, I, well, there is weather. It was just raining, uh, but you can't, wait, what did I say? You can't choose the weather. Godric the golden humiliated, having tasted defeat by the blade of Michaela, 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 I guess. Now on his knees begging for mercy, this sword is gigantic. We just uh, take a, a minute to appreciate that. Um, first, first horse fight, boys. What do you think? What are you thinking? <laughs> Give him an old boot in the butt. Oh God! Ah! Okay, I don't. I don't think I let enjoy horse fights. <laughs> they're they're way too fucking awkward. Can you come back here? I'm more of a something of a sword and blade guy myself. My horse does not appreciate getting smacked. Aww. I was trying to see if you could parry him. 
I remember doing that. Yeah, but my timing is terrible. You die. <laughs> yeah, L1 is to swing your sword to the left, R1 to the right. Indeed, indeed. Okay. Um, where's the path? Let's take the path. <laughs> My name is Gyobu. <laughs> oh, also, when you're doing a playthrough, these are interesting. I just saw that at the beginning. If you break a skull, you get a rune. Hey, Nameless. Uh, similar videos? Yeah, 100%. I'll be doing like a full playthrough, and then after that, you know, we're gonna run through the game a bunch to make PvP builds. Once we figure out what we're doing. Oh god, that torch was hitting me. <laughs> he Alright. 100% though. The same types of videos you saw, you will eventually see on all the like invasions. If they have like some type of arena, you know, playthroughs. What? 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 When I remember, oh, see, we got some boots. Well, the question is, are they good boots? They are worse boots than my boots, so. Can you name your horse? I think it's just automatically named Torrent. Oh! Okay. Did not expect that for some reason. Hang on, there's somewhere that I remember. There's like a carriage that was here in the network test. I really wonder if it's still here. It is still here. I see. I see. Because that had that really cool armor set in the network test. Will this be just as easy? Find out. There we go. Am I playing in 4K? No, no. I, I actually play it for playing in like 1080 or 1440p myself. Oh! Yeah, that was a fast reaction, Mr. Giant. Oh, shit. Wait. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, the crit goes to the front of the face. That's right. Smack. Okay, I uh, can't tell if I'm bad at jump attacks or if <laughs> he just had like weird iframes. I think I was just missing. But like, I'm jumping because I can't hit him otherwise. I don't... Oh, there we go. Uh, this is an awkward <laughs> place to get a crit. That looks like he's gonna jump. <laughs> and that's because he was. <laughs> Die! Are you serious? <laughs> Die. <laughs> okay. Do you drop me anything though? That's the real question. Do you? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Through the ghost of the giant comes the reaping soldier. What the? That was some hilarious timing. I'm just gonna throw that out there. What the fuck? <laughs> Get off your horse! <laughs> I hate fighting horse fights so much. <laughs> it's so unnecessary. Of an art. Yes. <laughs> Dude, he phased through the giant's dead body. That was crazy. <laughs> I gotta watch out for that shit, apparently. A wizard! No, not the horn! So if there's like a, a, a team, I remember that. The guy with the horn alerts everyone, so you wanna you wanna get rid of horn boy first. As is tradition. Oh, there's another horn guy. Well, I didn't see him. Oh well. I hate the torch guys so much as well. Okay, let's not get surrounded by like eight straight swords. That's probably a good bet. Any other big boys? He's big. Ay -ay. I kind of want your straight sword though, that seems really long. Herb, uh, none of them drop loot. Not like good loot. Dude, same. I will be streaming this literally all day. Like, I, yeah. <laughs> Horn boy, he, there's still more? How many? Okay, I hate how these guys just hold out the torch and burn my face. Okay. So far, so good. Are they all dead? Let's loot the extras. Uh, Roa Fruit, which is probably just like a crafting material, and I, you can't craft in battle. Okay, so since I'm like aggroed right now, you cannot craft. Noted. 
Uh, I turned that off myself, RT. So in the settings, you can turn on or off cinematic effects. And that's what that stands for. I hate the screen shake of crits. I, I've like played this way since Dark Souls 3. I, I'll probably never turn them on. You're a big boy, aren't you? Woo. Indeed you are. R2s will be the way. If you thought Dark Souls 3 was a R1 simulator, Dark, I mean Elden Ring is R2 simulator because it stuns the big ass enemies. Otherwise, you're sitting there just hacking away at them. And they like a lot of them have passive poise. Running attacks, I believe, are pretty good as well. But running heavies. So you have like a running light and a running heavy. There we go. Whoop. Smoldering butterfly. Ah, uh, no, it does not, uh, Leah. Like, I'm not gonna. Well, I'll show you after. And I'm not like adventuring around, but I remember. Let's get on our horse. Wait, did we loot the carriage yet? We didn't, because we were getting ambushed by the entire army. That's right. Oh yeah, so some weapons have a heavy feint. Straight sword doesn't. Um, I think it's rapiers and curved swords that have that. You like can heavy, and then if you hit backstep, you'll you'll do their backstep like kick, like in Dark Souls Three. Great X. Listen, wizards are always my enemy. <laughs> that will never change. Um, some ruins here. Can go into the ruins. Waypoint ruins. Flowers. Oh yeah, these things just kind of emit gases. I remember that. I just run by them because I don't feel like being poisoned for no reason. Um, there was parkour here. Yes. Yeah. So, excuse me. If you guys see that carriage being hauled, it usually has some type of loot in the carriage, but you do have to kill one of the giants. Wizards on horseback. That's the plague right there. That is the true plague. Ain't nobody want no wizard. I'm just dodging these. Oh. Oh. How'd I walk by this earlier? It is kind of hidden, I suppose, but... Uh, yeah. I don't have the strength for the Great Axe, but... Let me just fight whatever's in here, and then we'll showcase it. And... It's Pumpkin Lad. How does R2 do? Pretty good. Oh! Oh! Ah, uh, what about weapon art? Okay, he uses headbutt. That looks very damaging. I'm gonna avoid getting hit by that. And I got hit by it. <laughs> so his main moveset is pumpkin smash mixed with very... That was... Wait, did he break that? Are those nunchucks? Like a type of nunchuck looking... Like a nunchuck looking hammer. Okay, we got a crit, cool. <laughs> or a club. It's like a nunchuck club. I thought it was just a club. Kind of a flail, yeah. Yeah. I didn't even notice that right away. Okay, we got a grace point. Those are flails, yeah. That one's just a weird looking one. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a Halloween cosplay right there. You bring up very valid points. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That gave me a lot of... I'm, like, torn here. I still want a little more health. 680 is not feeling good. <laughs> I think we'll stop health there and then start endurance a little bit until we find a weapon we love. What is this? 30 strength. I'm still heavy with a shield with it. Without it, I can use it. Wait, what? Excuse me? Oh, okay. Uh, can you respec in the game? Yeah, I heard you can. Uh, I mean, Dark Souls 3 always has a respec, but it's never right away. So its moveset is... Does it seem a little faster than the old Great Axe moveset? Kind of does. R2. Um, running attack. Running heavy. Oh, the running heavy is kind of cool. I feel like that'll make, like... It's kind of cool. And its weapon art is... A war cry, which will probably change our moveset. Yeah. Oh, well, no stam drain because I don't have the requirement. Oh, sorry. No, it's not because of the requirements. I'm not in combat. If I have no enemies nearby, I can just swing whatever. But the second, like, an enemy locks onto you, you you're you losing stamina. Oh, nice, Thiago. That's, that's pretty early, I guess. That's pretty good. Not, like, too far in. Not too close, I guess. 
finished, are we? Oh. I wonder you should turn up here. I am Salen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? I want to learn sorceries, I guess. A yen for glimstone sorceries. I dare say your proclivities are far from ideal. Oh well, perhaps nurture will defy nature, but one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. As a reviled, apostate oh. witch, do you hmm. still wish to learn from me? Yes, I do, because you're the only one I have. Very well. <laughs> I refuse to coddle. Anticipate grievances. Okay, so this is where you would get sorceries. I think I am leaning more towards int than faith later in the playthrough. Not first, because like... I don't have catalyst. My int is low, and I want I want physical fights at first, so I just want to make sure I have. Young apprentice, you are a tadpole when it comes to magic. I'm a tadpole. Infant, so <laughs> to become a sorcerer, first you must face your ignorance. Now. Oh, she just says like a different line every time you go to like grab something from her. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Is Grace Point? Yeah, Grace Points are basically bonfires for sure. Um. We got bones for crafting. See, now we can craft. So when you're in combat, we can, I'm not going to craft anything because I don't really care for rainbow stones. They're easily found everywhere. What do they do? On horseback, feed to torrent. Oh, you can heal horsey? I did not know you could heal horsey. Torrent's got some heals. <laughs> okay. All right, that's something. What else do we got going on on the map here? So an enemy just like locked onto me, so my map closed. But I, I want to go towards the water because I do remember there being some stuff near the water. The Souls NPC sass, exactly. Oh, Torrent, you gotta get on that rock. That's the riverbed, I believe, over there. It was like under the bridge. Yeah, I don't mind the crafting system. Um, I haven't really used it, but it, it, I guess it's useful. You can make bombs and stuff if you find like a lot of around the map items. Like I think it requires these smoldering butterflies. So I guess there's a reason for you to grab some of the, uh, around the fire, there's smoldering butterflies. Yeah, that's a reason you can grab them now. Oh god. Honestly, that's the worst part though. I like Dark Souls 3's train my like timing for hitting people after crits. And it's really different here, it seems. <laughs> Excuse me. Steal the man. Yeah, I want it. They don't I guess they don't have like a high drop rate though. Can you still buy what well, I think you can, yeah. So I think it's a way to save your your runes. What's this? Oh, somber smithing stone. Yeah, that sounds different. Reinforce special armaments to plus one. All right, so I'm guessing that'll be like the Twinkling Titanite weapons or boss weapons, one of the two. Maybe both. Um, Rune fragments? Oh, these are just like souls. Let's go. Oh, Sasaki, thank you. Um, I do remember there was a cave. I wonder if they have the caves the same as the Network Test because the Network Test was basically this first little area that we're in right now. And it had a cave over here. Somewhere down. I remember taking fall damage when I jumped to it, though, so that's a problem. Yeah, the, the map is huge. Like, honestly. Like, and this is just, like, a small, small portion. What do these give you, actually? I know they're, like, poison balls or whatever, I think. Which I don't remember entirely. What, what do they do? That's a crab! Oh, they killed that for me. Thank you. Did the crabs drop us anything? R2, maybe? Yeah, R2 is definitely the way to get the crab. Oh, he grabbed my ass. That hurt. That hurt my soul more than anything. It's the same crab from Dark Souls. Oh, shit. And a poison thing. All right. Well, Mr. Crab, I want to try and stun you is my goal here. And I keep missing. I wonder how good the jump attacks are on them. Definitely better than lights. I don't want to get bubbled. That shit will hurt my soul. Bap. Okay, we can still crit them, yeah. Are the crabs faster? I couldn't really tell. What do they drop though? Crab eggs. Alright, can that... Oh, there's the cave I was talking about. Bubble beam! <laughs> There are more seafood items to come. Can we eventually cook the crab for health? <laughs> this is These are the questions I have. Okay, now I can see. No, it didn't seem like it gave me anything new. 
you prefer the DS3 crabs? I mean, that one looked the same, didn't it? I feel like that was the exact same moveset, but then again, I'm not a huge avid fighter of the crabs. I've never, I've never had to fight the crabs, you know? <laughs> Dude, I'm so happy. This is definitely the best game. No, I'm not going to invade. Why would I? <laughs> I love PvP, and I know you guys are super into all the PvP. As am I, as I have a channel dedicated to it. But the hype for me is the game. I want to learn the game. Like, I don't care about invading to fight someone else who has a straight sword right now. Like, that's just going to be boring. I want build diversity. I want to learn the game. Oh! Personally. So, if you're here just for invasions, you may as well leave because I'm not going to be invading. You'll get your invasions one day, and every day, probably. Once, you know, we complete the game, it'll be like PvP all the time, but... Yeah, I want me a big boy weapon. <laughs> what a nice ultra. Straight swords seem like the RQs are fine, but, uh... There we go. Okay, yeah. Where's the mining stuff? The, the yellow is basically what you want. There we go, yeah. They give you the smithing stones. A great club? Yeah, I'll definitely try out a great club. That works towards strength. I, I'll eventually be quality as well. I just think that early on strength is more useful since more weapons uh, uh, cancels are gone. They are gone. Um, there we go. Smithing stone. Okay, we can get a free backstab here. Or we can be dumb and not. Free crit, though. Oh, boy. Hey, look. Our favorite enemies. <laughs> Animals. <laughs> did I pick up the totally not a claymore? Yeah, I did. I did pick up the... T oh, I can wield it now. <laughs> Does it have a thrust? Oh, that's totally not a claymore. That's... Don't even... Don't even disgrace the claymore with that. Whoop. Somber smithing stone. <laughs> yeah, which is, you know, I guess they perfected the rat, it, to be fair. It, it is the most annoying little animal enemy, like, if they did anything to it. Well, <laughs> it'd probably make it weaker, to be honest. Um. Okay, you know what I gotta pay attention on? Lifts have a lot of hidden... Oh, we're going down. I totally thought we were going... Oh, that's exactly what I was looking for. Well, <laughs> I guess we'll go look down here first. Oh, yeah, you can two-hand a greatsword if you don't have the strength for it. It does lower its AR a little bit, but you can still wield it. So at the end of the day, it's fine. Okay. Decent jumping attack. I can't one-hand this, though, because I don't have 16 strength. Yet. Oh, God. What's rough, though, is you don't have, like, hyper armor on a greatsword. Although its light attacks do stun, that is nice. As opposed to having to constantly use heavies. So some weapons just do more stagger damage. Straight sword does not do enough light hit attack. Key oh god. Smithing stone? Yeah, this is the dead end place. Okay, so you just come down here, I guess, for smithing stones. Parkour. Yeah, we can parkour on that. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna try my best to pay attention to all hidden items. Yeah, I, I've always felt that way. I tell people that in Dark Souls 3, like, in a playthrough, I feel like strength builds do better because, like, in Dark Souls 3 anyway, enemies all get staggered from, like, medium to heavy weapons, like, great swords and ultras. So, like, overall, like, fighting something with any type of hyper armor is really annoying. Oh, it must have been on the other side. <laughs> God damn it. But if, if you don't have, like, a, a type of, like, poise breaking weapon. Yeah, this is like almost like the claymore, just not as good. Dex though, I mean I crit a lot, to be fair, like the way I play. Like rapiers and stuff work as well. Because I backstab a lot. I'd rather get like a nice opening right after doing a high damage attack. Oh, that flowed nicely. You ever notice how like some of the heavies flow into like light attacks differently? Woo! 
store brand Claymore. True. <laughs> this is the off brand. Oh, wait. Hey. Glintstone scrap. What are those? Those, okay, those are not upgrades for magic weapons. Break gem and use FP to reduce a uh, produce a magic bolt. Okay, so you throw it and it basically. Let's see. I'll just use it just for fun. Oh, cool. So instead of like just like lightning urns, you have the ability to crack these. And they homing, or well, kind of homing soul mass, I guess. That's, that's decent. I bet you they have that for all elements. That's pretty cool. Wonder if they scale. Hang on, let me let me read that. They do scale. Okay, so if you're like an int build, now you have a consumable. That's different. I like that. Ken, thank you so much, man. Uh, they're great, dude. I honestly just took like a mini break uh, before Elden Ring, so I was just releasing videos and not streaming because I was just too excited for Elden Ring. <laughs> Homing Lightning Urn? Yeah, it seems. I, I bet you there's like a fake one. Uh. I don't know. I don't know if Strength will have something like that. I haven't found one yet, but. Uh, smithing Stone. Explosive, explosive Stone. Okay, maybe that. I lied. Maybe that's the one. Uh, yeah, that explodes when thrown. So it's like a bomb, but like more scaled towards Strength. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, that is the dead end, I thought. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about the dragon spells. Uh, yeah, this is the newest one folding. It is. I don't think you could... Can you even play on like the other patch? I think it would force you to update on Steam, so... I do play on PC, yeah. Alright, I guess we go into the boss fight. Let's go. Yeah, I know, Thanos. What the hell? We're talking about like the int one and then the strength one appears. Oh, Stone Digger Troll. So it's, let's see. Okay, we do some pretty good damage with the greatsword. I really wonder what its weapon art is like. Oh boy. What about the heavy jump attack? That is nice damage. Can I just say, I like that a lot. Ow, I don't like that a lot though. That hurt a lot. I'll take, I'll take my losses and uh, dip out for a second here, Mr. Mr. Stone Giant. Are, are we just going forever with the stomp? <laughs> I think we are. These are some of my least favorite bosses to fight though, personally. Because <laughs> all you see is a foot. <laughs> like, could I? Hang on a second. I feel like the, the weapon art of the straight sword would be very beneficial here. That's ah, scary. Coming in hot, buddy. Or I miss entirely. Ow. Okay, no, no. And also, two-handing your weapon's very weird. Sir, could you kindly remove yourself from the corner so I can hit you with that? Thank you. Claymore is great, though. What's this? Something's happening here. Trying to see like a lot of the attacks of the uh, enemies in general. That seemed like a pretty cool flail move. Yeah, you bounce off. Okay, so when he does this, it sends like a shock wave. You don't want to get a hit by that because it's a uh, very heavy damage. Can't see. Oh, six senses. <laughs> Guide me, Spidey senses. I'm fighting the camera right now. I guess that hasn't changed. Got him in the peen. <laughs> right in the peen. Roar medallion. Okay. Uh, where do I keep my talismans? Enhances roar and... Uh, ben wait. Roar and breath attacks. I was like looking at chat and reading it at the same time. Uh, I, I feel like, a, well, in the test, a lot of weapon arts did really high damage compared to, like, their light attack counterparts. Because, I mean, they are longer animations. So, I like that they boosted slower attacks. You know what I mean? Because, like, dominantly light attacks have always been the best in the Soul games. Just because you get a whiff punish and out quick. But, um, heavies work here now. And weapon arts do high damage. So, it's... 
it's nice. <laughs> it gives it some diversity. Um, hang on a second. Can I warp down into there? I just wanted to see what we got from that. Let's see. Oh, we just got the medallion, huh? That's all we got. He didn't give us like a weapon. I was kind of thinking he might give us some type of weapon. Whatever, we can go out to the water and go to the left. This waterway. And then all up here as well. Point down. <laughs> Dishonest point down. Yep. Uh, wait, four hours for people on PC. Yeah, it's very close. Very close. Yeah, there's a lot of... So So what you just saw wasn't like a, an important boss. So the way this works is there's a lot of... Um, I just want to like peruse the side of the water here. I know there's... From what I remember, there was a cave over there. Like this area was the network test area, so I kind of know where, it, where some things are, if they're the same. If not, I'm gonna be surprised. Item. Fire grease. Fire grease is like a buff, basically. It's like your uh, pine resins and bundles. Is there a story? Yes, there is a story. Indeed. And you will see NPCs with side stories kind of going along with you, just like the Soul series. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice. Did the, did the mini bosses not have music um, compared to the main bosses? Oh, Bloody Finger Narius. Oh, yeah, okay, Narius was also in the network test. Hello, Narius. She had, like, uh, blood-infused daggers, from what I remember. Which is scary, because I bet you I don't have the best blood resistance. <laughs> yeah, that. That. <laughs> that builds up blood ridiculously. And also, hang on, if you uh, wait, and you get this guy, I think that's part of the quest. That, like he helps kill him. I've never experienced any of his quest line, but uh, that NPC is definitely like a side friend quest. I don't even remember his name to be honest. I think you're supposed to bleed OP. Yeah. Well, the NPCs are scaled kind of like strong because you you get their weapon, so they make them on the stronger side. I wonder how strong a weapon art would be compared to everything else. Oh, they, yeah, and they heal. So, there's that. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just take turns trading with the weapon art. <laughs> well, that guy's loot is really cool, though. I really would love that guy's katana, even if I'm being a strength build. I, I would enjoy that pretty highly. That katana looking beautiful. This guy, yeah. Just joining the fray, tarnished. Well, wow. you fought Narius and survived. That alone deserves commendation. What's his face look like? Hunter of bloody fingers, tarnished. Okay. Held in thrall by cesspit. Zealots who stalk their own. Just remember, no kindle in your emotions. Stay your blade. Trying to like actually learn all the side quest stories. Stay clear of a gill lake, and it's as fearsome. So, stay clear of the lake. Is that all that he has to say Be at the end? Way, yep. Be on your way. All right. What if he took off the hat and it was scary? <laughs> Honestly, that hat is cool, but like, can you imagine wearing that hat? I feel like I don't know. I've never worn like a hat that covers my vision. Yeah, that's what I was going for originally before we got invaded. There's a cave here. Yeah, that's why I was thinking strength int. Um, I'm definitely starting strength, but like int is definitely the magic class that I choose over faith personally. First, anyway, just to see it later on. Um, um what do we want to go, boys? Maybe a little bit of strength, endurance as well, because well, actually, let's get a clean 700 HP, and we'll go like this. That'll do doing strength faith nice yeah regen is good in a first playthrough too if they do have that for the faith um what else did i get? i did get the dagger yeah uh i can't really wield it but what does it need 13 arcane yeah so 
Um, bleed, it does like a bleed weapon art. That won't obviously build up properly because I don't have arcane. But arcane is like luck, so it scales your bleed, uh, probably your like other build ups. Maybe, maybe it's just bleed. I don't know. I could see int like doing frostbite the way that they explained it. Um, don't entirely know, to be honest. Can wield that, right? Yeah. Okay. No, no, int is int. Arcane is uh, what I just explained. Kind of like bleed and luck. What the heck is this? Yeah, I guess bleed is... is oh god, that was a bell. <laughs> I walked into the trap, Kun. <laughs> oh boy, that's poison. Only sad thing is, you need like good armor sets, I would say, for great swords to be the best because otherwise, you don't have hyper armor with it. Like you'll get stunned in the middle of your swing, as you're seeing right now. So you have to space like really well with it. Otherwise, I can't see what is behind me—a cliff. Oh, that's really weird. I don't like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump by. <laughs> I need to see. It's dark. Come here. Come here and face the R2 of the straight sword. <laughs> R1 go brute. Not as brute as I'd like it to, but it does go brute. So we got Smoldering Butterfly, Highway Manhood. Oh, wow, okay, this is looking exactly like the Dark Souls 2 <laughs> starting like hood, if you know what I mean. I don't know how to explain it. I uh, know it's actual poise. It doesn't seem. I, I think some weapons may have hyper armor. I mean, it's too early to say. I, I don't know. I haven't like grabbed all the heaviest armor sets and stuff, you know. So, I can't really give you an exact on that. But right there, like, th there's no hyper armor. It was just my armor's poise right there. I haven't seen a mimic yet. <laughs> Who's to say there isn't one? But I haven't seen one. Oh no, boss. This one's been like a loot cave, basically. What do you have? Well, well, well. Nani. That voice sounds pretty familiar. <laughs> no way. What the fuck? We talked about this earlier. We're fighting patches, though? Have we ever really, like, fought? I guess you can fight him, but he's never really openly, like, aggressed you, right? <laughs> this is a first. Ow! Patches! I wish that had hyper armor. <laughs> what? But do you really? I mean, if we kill him, we might get some. Okay, I guess I guess we didn't kill him. They gave you that time to decide. We're crouching together. It's cute. Ah, well, what do you know? You're tarnished like me. Now, now how did I get that wrong? I took you for a demi-human or some such. <laughs> but an innocent mistake, I assure you. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? <laughs> Forgive and forget. Sure. Let's try to get the Just quest what line. I like about you. I'm Patches. Patches the untethered. Tarnished like you, only free spirited. Nomadic, you might say. Oh. In exchange for my, well, showing them the ropes. But honestly, this looting racket is bloody terrifying. Frankly, I'm ready to wash my hands clean. Make me set up a legitimate shop. So don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and okay. deal come next. <laughs> so he is going to be a merchant. That's interesting. Don't forget to pop back. I'll be ready to. Will he like stay here? Is this like his merchant cave, or will, will he progress like a quest line? I I don't know. Also, wow, I got gypped out of souls. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be a boss. That's sad. He sounds so patches like. You know, I had a feeling there'd be a patches in Elden Ring. Um, because because you guys said he was even in Bloodborne, which I mean, like lore wise, it's, it's very different, I suppose, right? So, um, what do we got going on here? So there's more we can go towards. We're in the water. I mean, the map is blacked out, but I think this water reconnects. 
right? Probably go towards the water more. Maybe he'll move to the hub. True, we don't have the hub yet. They did say that you get the hub later on in the game. Is this NPC still here, or does he... Okay, no, he, he leaves as well. So some of the NPCs just go their own way, I suppose. Got some poison blossom. We could go up, but I'm going to go in the cave first just to get the lower level complete. I'm going to try and do this like a linear way where I like know where I'm going. And now I just jump around. Oh, is the voice acting on the NPCs hard? We can turn that up. Um, because the game audio is pretty loud, right? Where's audio? Am I blind here? Audio, there we go. Um, so music is at one, sound effects at two. I could put voice at like four. I think that might boost it. We'll see what the next NPC, I suppose. Even the music at one, like I find the music pretty loud at one, but I mean I'm not gonna turn it off. <laughs> so Um, we can not level up. We can not add a flask. I don't think we found any. Voice was pretty low. Yeah, okay. That'll balance it, hopefully. <laughs> well, these things. With their damn heart. Oh. <laughs> well, the crits are weird. Like, the way you get the repost sometimes is strange. You have to be, like, a little to the left, I find, depending on what angle they, uh, walk at you, like. But stabs work pretty well in the PB anyway. Uh, planning quality. So yeah, quality, if I find something that has good dex requirements that I want, starting like more strength leaning. But yeah, overall, I'm not going to have like no dex because I feel like weapons in the Souls games, even on a strength build, like I've always had like 16, 17 dex. What the hell was that? <laughs> Sto yeah, these are stone thralls for sure. I care not what anyone says and they're annoying. <laughs> Thralls have always been some of the more annoying enemies in the game to me. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, you know what? Counterattacks are my best friend against these guys. I they they love to No, I'm not stepping on your freaking trap, dude. <laughs> Hell no. R2 is my best friend. Yeah, those two were literally mimicking each other. They were throwing in sync, attacking in sync. The the group in sync. No. A door open somewhere. Oh, the audio is very good though. Can I just say, like, I play a lot of games that have vertical audio issues. This, I could tell from my headphones that it was coming from the left right there. Like, I fully heard that open. I sense great death. These thralls are everywhere, dude. I, like, heard it moving up there. <laughs> nice, I hit the one I wanted. Okay, we get the crit done. Boom. Perfect, perfect. Uh, B Ranger, thank you so much, man. Uh, unlock for me in four hours. You scheduled, dude. I would have done the same thing. <laughs> I have friends who took like a week off as well. Like they just want to play Souls. It's crazy, like how popular Souls games have become. You know, after playing like Dark Souls Two, which most of my like IRL friends hadn't really heard of the Souls series at all. You know. And then like Dark Souls 3 kind of like got it bigger, like it became more common for people to have like heard of Dark Souls 3. But then like this game won like most anticipated game of the year, like it's it's such a different level of popularity, it's weird. What's this? Oh shit. Dual hammers, okay. Okay, I just kind of want to see his moveset before we go in, like what that weapon can do. So it's got like a long range move which can chain, okay. He doesn't get stunned, maybe by weapon arts. He's very aggressive. He gets stunned by weapon arts though, okay. But if you space out your rolls, he won't be too bad, I assume. That's an easy one to punish, and you can hit him out of the air with this weapon art, so that's good. Um, What else? I feel like he's gonna have some like, got that basic attack chain though he likes it a lot he runs at you can he just throw it randomly so that's a buff for sure it's like an attack buff yeah 
Get that out of the way. How much did that really buff him? He hasn't been like fully staggered to where I can get a crit yet though. So kudos to him. Got like a more uh what is that I wanna say like a poise damage meter, I suppose. At least the straight swords. Oh there we go, okay. Hang on, we need some more FP here. Just because like our main damage on him is definitely the weapon. Right, I kinda wanna try a jumping attack, so we'll heal quick just to be full. While he buffs, maybe. I don't know if that scream will hurt me. So yeah, jumping attacks stun him as well, it seems. Not against his like hyper armor attacks though. Maybe when he's just chilling in the open. Okay. Interesting boss. And a battle hammer. What does it need? 26! See what I'm talking about? <laughs> like, okay, I guess we gotta start leveling strength a little bit. Like, early weapons, like, no dex requirement, really. Claymore is 10, like, my straight sword is 10. The Reduvi is 13, and it's a dagger. This is the highest dex requirement, 18, that I've seen. <laughs> that is a, uh, a chonker boy right there. Wait, is there anything in here? No. I guess the boss gives you a weapon. That's a pretty good reward. I know, Gabba. It doesn't. It's gone. At least from all the times I attempted it, and I've never had a problem doing it in Dark Souls 3, so. Um, I could give an example and try it really quick. If I see an enemy near a, a, a grace. Yeah, we can check out the hammer move set too. Every time we get like a new boss weapon, we'll just hammer set it up. So, this is the R1, the light attack chain. Does it have four? So it's got four, yeah. So one unique thing to Elden Ring, I don't know if any of you guys have like watched any of the, the content on the weapons, but they have more than just a two attack chain for lights and heavies. Well, depending on the weapon, the heavy is different. That's four. This is the R2, just me spamming it. So it just has two, uh, but it has a four light attack chain. I think that's all we did. I think we showed everything else, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I wish we got the... Maybe we... I mean, we can probably do wield it ourselves, obviously, but uh, it would be nice. Oh, I just realized. Strength isn't really upping my physical absorption. What does that? Both dex and strength up fire. Huh? Maybe just... Certain levels of strength will do that. I don't know. That's interesting. Very interesting, though. Very interesting. I I kind of thought like you'd be tankier as a strength build, you know, but it, it, I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what is that? We're not killing that. Hell no. <laughs> horse? There is this thing, though, where sometimes your horse just will not show up. I know not why, but <laughs> it's annoying. Whoa. Okay. Well, I see two grace points. <laughs> nice. Uh, we'll grab this one first because we're closer. There we go, we'll get this. A painting. Homing instinct painting. Hmm. Oh, there's all these like artworks. Oh, is it like when you first do something? That's cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, did the did the birds drop something? Hang on. I mean, it's just gonna be meat. Like when you kill wildlife, you either get meat or bones. So sometimes I forget to loot the birds. Oh, he, he did. Yeah. This will be like. Oh, I lied. A feather. The pigeon feather is what that was. Right now I'm in there. Okay. Interesting. This leads to... I, yeah, I gotta find the other half of the map. 
I can go grab that uh, gray sight though. If I wait, I think I'm probably gonna need to jump across there with the with the horse booster 2000. Oh no, I'm not. I could just go over here. Cool. We getting grace points. This is good. This is good. Um, some other things that I remember before I go into the unknown. Um, this led to. Let's go to the gate front really quick, as opposed to going into the unmapped area. Yep. Um, was it upwards? Yeah, I think it was up. Let's go this way. This is the storm gate like pathway. Proceeds to have a traumatic flashback of painting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to like go into paintings and whatnot. I have no idea, honestly. Oh! Oh! Well, thank you, giant. My dear. <laughs> I was trying to clear the area of the archers before I fought him, because, well, that doesn't sound like a good time to me. Backstab? He's hot on my ass, dude. He does not like that I am being strategic. I would appreciate if you would just die quickly, Knight, so I can uh, deal with the quite bigger threats. Literally, the biggest threats. I'm just gonna dodge. <laughs> I'll let him kill them for me, that's fair. And then we'll deal with you. Hey, hey, buddy, 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 listen. Do you not see the giant orc? Well, just the straight, it's a giant, I guess, but... Do you not see this? Imagine shooting crossbows at something other than this. They got brain rot. <laughs> Woo! Let's charge a heavy up. Right in the peen. <laughs> Giant co-op, dude. He helped me clear the mobs. I appreciate him. I want to get all the loot that's around here, but I need him to not be, uh, oh, he's jumping or something. That is not where I want to be. Hell no. Uh, honestly, like, in terms of mobs, like, these are really goddamn tanky. Can we just, whoa, I can't see. Oh my god, as if I dodge that. I always end up near a wall with a giant. I don't know how. <laughs> Could you kindly bring yourself over here? <laughs> <laughs> That's quite the shockwave. I guess he doesn't want to move. All right, whatever. Ah, ah! I can't see. That's why I don't like being near the wall. My lock on like misses. He really doesn't want to leave this wall. That is good damage. Attack, attack. There you go, nice, nice. <laughs> Guess they replenish when you kill like a whole camp of enemies. You get your essence back, super, super convenient. Just throwing that out there. Where's all the items that I missed? That's oh, a shiny helmet. <laughs> Goddamn giants. <laughs> they take up more, the most of my time, I swear. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not answering the question of uh, how I'm playing. I just, I've already answered it like 30 times, so... <laughs> I don't want my playthrough to consist of I got early access from Bandai as my entire dialogue. Uh, I think you can break these, right? Our horse usually does it for us, but... There we go. Go on the horsey. This isn't normal. This is not normal. This is not normal. <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I watched a review video, and they were like, yeah, they had this weird thing happen to me that happened to nobody else. I went to get on my horse, 
And I was just kind of flying and then I died. And I was like, oh, that's a really weird glitch. How the fuck did that happen? Guess we know. Guess we know how that happened. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my souls. Eh, I guess we're running by these things this time. I'm not gonna fight that again. That was, that was uncalled for. <laughs> that was uncalled for. <laughs> but it, th to be fair, that is apparently extremely rare. Like the guy had like 60 hours in the game and it happened to him once. So I'm just a special breed of lucky. <laughs> Basically. Oh hey. What I'm what I'm saying here. <laughs> Imagine I die again. <laughs> Maybe it's that one spot and I just happen to hit it. I don't know, man. Oh god, the wolves. Let me this is a grace point, we'll get this before we kill the wolves. <laughs> FPS is great for me. I do have a BP PC though, so I might not be the best example of the average uh, specs. Oh shit. I knew he was jumping up. Dis did you <laughs> He knocked me out of the air. I ah, get that's funny. Wolf NATO. Ooh I'm busy explaining my dishonest horse flying death and uh what do I? Oh, a stone sword key. Yeah, there. So we gotta be kind of choosy with ones, with ones we want to use it on. I have a thirty ninety. So yeah, like don't don't use me as a baseline. <laughs> I got I like built a PC specifically for content creation. Everyone's been grafted. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought. For me. I'm sorry, I want that robe. Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. <laughs> that doesn't taken sound Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know? If you're grafted by the spider. Oh my god. You become a chrysalid. Please, not a spider. A lark when you think about it. I got the sit sideways emo. Let's go. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. I am. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. No, he called me single. Oh, you've I don't come like him. to be one with the spider. Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. What? It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. Why or would you head. knowingly seek out doing I that? I want to okay. be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. <laughs> This girl was sent here to be part of beheaded oh, and grafted Can't onto a spider enemy. Oh, I got given an ash. Poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. Oh. I'll be glad of your company, I think. The little un. The little un. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know. Okay. As far as weird dog, okay, that's the same line. <laughs> She's an interesting one. Can we just agree on that? That was yeah. Everyone comes here to be grafted by the spiders. So that means at some point in my playthrough, I'm gonna be fighting. Okay, I'm not gonna go the direct quest line way because I'm betting you there's tons up here. So I don't have any like things in this general direction. Let's go this way. That's a horde. Um, is there any loot up on these cliffs? I would like some loot. Okay, torrent. You have to jump closer to the wall. Apparently, I'm not. I'm no master of horse core yet. I will get there. Those bats. Those are indeed bats. I'll leave you be because I want to find loot. Anything down here? This looks like somewhere it'd be hidden. <gasps> oh, it's not really. I guess that's not too hidden. Oh, there's something over there, though. That is indeed something. Indeed, indeed. What be this? Watch her become Elden Ring's Quay Leg. Oh, yeah, actually. Maybe not, but maybe there's a boss like her. Wait, it, it, okay. You 
friends are jumping off a cliff. Do you also? Oh! Oh, another NPC invader. Recusant Henricus. R2. Oh, now that is a cool weapon. Where do I get me one of those? I want one of those. <laughs> That's sick. I also like its swing pattern is interesting. It's better than the old one-handed great hammer swing pattern. Jump attack. Okay, jump attack seems to be what will stun a heavy type enemy. If not, you're not stunning them with light attacks. Like right there, he would have powered right through that. What do you give me? Ooh, oh, hammer talisman. I got baited. I thought that was the hammer. Enhances stamina reducing attacks against blockers. Okay, so good if someone's, like, shielding constantly. Uh, yeah. When you die, your souls are left where you're dead, and you have to go pick them up from where you died. Yeah, that seemed pretty solid. I mean, there's no ping with me in an NPC, but that seems solid. It is an NPC, though, so, like, it it'll be different when ping is involved online. Uh. Okay, so we can't open that yet. Okay, whatever, we'll do this one. Uh, there are a few. You you have running heavies instead of just a running attack now. Um, you have... Wait, can I go in there? Or is it just like a, a corner? Oh, it's just like the side of the mausoleum. Ah, oh, okay. Um, you have jump attacks, which you, you don't jump at all in Dark Souls 3, so that's like mechanically different. Other than that, though, it's, it's pretty same-ish. It's pretty similar. Um, okay, we'll go this way, I guess. I could run along the walls, I guess, see if there's items anywhere. See these shinies in there? I don't think so. I bet you that thing is, like, entirely inside. There are birds you can kill <laughs> for meat and bones, but... Yeah, this is if you were, like, playing someone who lives in your house. That's what... I mean, that's ideal Dark Souls, though, to be honest. <laughs> if I got to play Dark Souls 3 my whole life with that kind of ping, oh my god, good heavens. My happiness factor would have been immense. Hey, a guy on a horse. You know, I'm not fighting a horse fight. That's just simply not for me. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to get you off your horse by spamming you with this <laughs> until you get the hell off your horse. <laughs> what about jump attacks? Well, there's a rock there. Now your horse is nothing. <laughs> your horse's only ability is speed. That was interesting. What the heck was that? Get off your horse. Ah, give me that. Joust to- I don't know the spear! <laughs> oh, Ash of War Golden Vow. That's our first- Oh wait, no, I think we found some Ash of Wars, didn't we? They might have been like planned. Yeah, so we have a uh, Storm Stomp, which I've used a lot in the network test. It just like emits like air around you to stun them for a second. It doesn't do much damage, but you can get an attack off. And Determination makes the next hit on your weapon really strong. Grants affinity and skills. Um, g gaining self and nearby allies, in allies increased power. Okay, and the cool thing about Ashes of War, if I find a grace point sometime soon, I will show you, is you can put any of them on your weapon. It doesn't matter if the, gr the uh, blah, 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 blah. Ash of War is a um, faith scaling Ash of War, let's say. You can choose it to scale strength instead, but some will have bonuses. Or doing it the proper way because camp there um so it is best to choose the ones that uh have their ideal scaling but you could still uh attune it how you want like i know there's some magic ones that will scale better off magic than let's say physical and gain bonuses like ice build up on the magic i've seen that but if they don't have like other abilities like that then usually you can make them scale however the hell you want birds Sparkles. Sparkles. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Uh, our hallowed resting place is violent. To refuse the urge, she's called to return to live within death. Sickening. I think these give you like little lore hints. So they're always saying something random. Yeah, it's basically like Oath of Sunlight now that I think about it. But yeah, I can show you the Ashes of War really quick. Because I can put them all on the straight sword. Even though I, I think the straight swords one is better at the moment for boss fights. 
Um, so Ashes of War. See, I could choose. Uh, okay, but all weapons can't attune Ashes of War like this. Some have to stick with what they have, by the way. Some have like unique ones, so don't see every weapon and think you can put whatever you want on it. So like this is Storm Stomp. It would allow you to get like a free hit in. Maybe a light attack, maybe not a heavy. Uh, but it doesn't do much damage, so that's more useful for mobs from what I tested. Um, the other is Determination. It's just like a little buff that's like timed on your weapon. And if you like do like a, any type of strong attack or like light attack, it'll, it'll be boosted when it hits. Um, and then the last one that we just got, I haven't actually used this before. This is brand new. It wasn't in the test. Um, I'm assuming it just gives you a buff of some kind. Maybe where's status? Yeah, my defenses are buffed overall. For sure. I don't have 31 defense normally. That's cool. So yeah, it's really up to you. Um, I tend to... I, I like the straight swords regular one personally at the beginning here because it's stunning enemies well for me. But there are going to be some sick ashes of war that I'll use when I have more stats. I sense these little urchins every time I'm around the corner. Oh, this is a skeleton area. Oof. Weird mechanic from the network test. You have to kill the skeleton a second time, like, as it's rezzing, or else it will just keep on rezzing. I didn't notice that at first. You have to hit the glowing thing. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> keep that in mind when you play. I don't know who to deal with, the bow one first or the non-bow one. Whoa, 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 whoa. That guy just punched me. Dodge the bow. <laughs> okay, you're actually timing those attacks way too well. Do it again. I don't know what he... He just, like, grabs his pocket and punches me. It's really weird. Very th it's throwing me off a little bit. Oh, too early. <laughs> just like the catacombs. Yeah, true, but they usually... You, you can't... Like, usually you have to kill the catacomb ones again, right? Like, you can't do it before they res. And they, I think they only come twice. They'll never rise again. These will keep rising if you don't hit them while they're... At least from what I remember. I left that last one because I'm smart. Damn skellies always just, you gotta like hit them when they're getting their magic boost. Dishonest. What's over here? Oh. <laughs> Another, oh, that's what I'm talking about. I do. I attacked too early on like, oh, I did not see you there. Skeleton number two. Not at all. <laughs> That caught me completely off guard, actually. Really? I was gonna say, come on, you have to be dead. Okay. Now I can loot in peace. Grave glove wart. What's this? Human bone shards. I'm guessing that's like a crafting material. You can use hu yeah, you can use human bones for something eventually. That's interesting. More skeletons, please, no. No, I want, this, I want this leaf. Of course. <laughs> okay, at least we get a free crit. Oh, I thought I heard something crawling on the wall. Ah, oh, I gotta choose between <laughs> critting and killing. No. <laughs> My nightmare. Almost lured in by the butt. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that looked like a really big hooded enemy over there. That, that really caught me off guard. Oh, Uchi Gatano, what does that need? I could go like 15 decks, you know, just to try out the Gatana. It's not too bad. Some some strength weapons will probably have like a 14 or 15 decks requirement. That happens quite often. Try that out. Um, there's a lot of skeletons down here, but it looks like I have to go this way, so. Yeah, there's a lever. Anyone in here? Oh, item. Item in a safe spot. Blood Rose? Three of them. Okay, I really like I gotta pay attention to like the crafting stuff later because like I want to make buffs and I know you can make buffs so Skeleton rollies Yeah, I know I heard so much. Oh god, I have an army following me about like oh, so it's basically like Dark Souls But open world I'm like, what do you mean basically? That's a dream. I get big Dark Souls <laughs> 
That's the fucking best thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> but yeah, all the ratings are amazing for people who have reviewed the game. Oh, boss. What do we got? We got the Blood Knife Assassin. What is Oh, I'm stepping on bones. Oh. Okay. All right, dodgy brother. Okay, we stun him at least. That's that's good. My question is, why the hell is his health halved? That makes him a little scarier. Does he have some like added ability? That I don't know about. Can I backstab him? Ha! I can. Take that. Oh, he's a deaky one. Some Dark Souls 1 style fights here. Oh, that was cool that I got that. He definitely moves around a lot. Crit battle. <laughs> Your dagger versus my... Oh, I was trying to counter attack right there. Nice. Okay, so he basically dodges like all heavies. Oh god, I really, really thought he was going to crit me. Let's just stay healthy because I feel like he's going to have some like mega one-shot ability. Still haven't uh, stunned him. Okay. Okay, maybe not. I guess it is like a an optional dungeon. Assassin's Crimson Dagger. Ooh. Dagger slots. Are these ordered by class? They seem to be. Hammer. Um, if it wasn't a weapon, then it was either a key item or a talisman. Ah, it was a talisman. Criticals restore HP. Oh, I'm not even wearing a talisman. So we're going to throw that on. Yeah, he was like quarter or maybe like three-fourth health. I don't know why he started half health. That was, that was weird. I, I don't have an explanation for you. And also, Austin, thank you so much, man. For sure. It, it'll be interesting. I haven't done any of that yet because I want to do like a full playthrough, but I'm going to. <laughs> Making the bosses start half health. Let's go. <laughs> uh, sort of. That was definitely all my doing. 100% all me. Um, Do we want to try the katana? Eee! I could be using strength first. What do you guys think? Would you like to see the katana a little bit? I can invest two points into dex and it won't really entirely... Wait, actually, let's see what kind of weapons we have. Because alternatively, if I'm going for other, like, strength weapons, we don't really have an interesting one. I guess I could two-hand this, but, like, I need 20 strength, so. You want to see some katana action? Okay. Yeah, like, honestly, 15 dex is not straying too far away from a strength build anyway, so it's fine. Um, actually, I'm really close. I can probably crush, like, a rune or two that we have. Maybe I'm not that close, though. I thought that would be worth more. No, it's worth one. Okay, there. We'll do that. And then we'll just stay that course for a little bit and just level strength. So I, I did say I was going, like, strength quality, so... Let's try the katana out a little bit. Yeah, honestly, like, 15 to 16 decks is normally what I see on all my strength builds in Dark Souls 3. I don't know about uh, Elden Ring, but even if it's, like, a wasted sat or two later, you can reallocate anyway. What's this weapon art? Oh, sheathing it. Okay. So we can sheath strike like that. What about the heavy one? Ah, so they took out the parry, but you get like a, a more powerful uh, sheath attack. Cool. Uh, not for me, Nap, but I have a really powerful PC, so... I don't know. I haven't had any of the issue. It's been steady 60 FPS for me. Ciao! Um, is that a, oh, that's a bird. Okay. Oh, there's a camp right there. Let's at least go kill that camp. Where are we right now? We're here? Yeah, let's go. Let's go take on that little camp. No worries, yeah. Oh, God, that's a dog. Ah, it's not that strong. Okay. Katana go brut. This is nice. I still don't really know what the yellow eyes mean. Maybe, like, they drop loot or you get excess souls. Some enemies to seem to have, oh... Oh, one of those things. Those lead you to a dungeon, but I think I just went to that dungeon. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, here we are. Okay, what about blocking? I'm probably not going to block with the katana ever, but I just wanted to see its deflect. 
Um, let's take on the camp smart so we don't get ambushed by dogs. I know there's dogs here. There's always dogs here. At every camp. Oh, look at them. There's dogs right there. <laughs> so that's the deflect. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's rough that console has to wait till their regional time zone. At least PC, we get it like in a world release. I I think I prefer that. Oh god, dog! Shit. Okay, we gotta dip out for a second because dogs. You know, I can fight a giant beast, but you put a dog near me with a guy with a big sword, and I'm gonna be having some problems. Especially if there's two dogs. <laughs> and a super aggressive sword man. Okay, we just gotta basically wipe the dog quick. Which we're not doing. Because dogs are annoying. Okay, there we go. We're good. <laughs> okay, now we can kill him. You seem tanky and I want your bum. Let's see how much. 194. That's pretty good. That's not terrible. <laughs> yeah, basically. You just, oh wait, there's an item in here, or is there not? It looked like the guy died right there and dropped the item. Thank you so much, Bluey Dooby Doo. Yeah, I think it, it it is regional, right? From what everyone's been telling me on console. So wherever you live will depend on when you get it. Uh, so the running light is like this, but the running heavy is like this. So I've been using the running heavy more since it thrusts, as you just saw. A Mountain Dew medallion? Wait, did I get a medallion right there? I was too busy like reading the chat. No, I did not. Okay. Yeah, I'm wearing a an assassin dagger that I got from a boss. I get health back when I land crits. So giants down there. Is that what is here? What else did I get? Oh, I got a shield. Is it heavier? I mean, it, it might be a little heavier, but it doesn't break my weight load. It looks cooler. That's for sure. <laughs> The basic starting one isn't the coolest looking. Um, okay. Let's look around here as well. I haven't really searched this path. Oh my god, there's one more dog. Please. Please, stop. St oh, and this one's a tanky. This one's a tanker. <laughs> okay. Oh, weapon art be doing damage. Okay, we can go take out those mobs out as well. Uh, I don't have any FPS issues. People keep asking me that. Is that like some common thing? But I, I don't have any, but I have a, a super, super beefy PC, so... Like, I have like four times with a recommended RAM. So, like, if that was causing that for some people, or what? Maybe I'm not the best baseline. Um, okay. Follow along this path. Oh! Oh, that like alerts. I gotta watch out for these. These alert the camp. I came in from the back of the camp, I suppose, so. I have no idea, honestly. I haven't really played console games for a bit. I'm, I'm such a stickler for like the best performance I can get out of my game. But I just, I play on PC. For, mo for most things. Thank you. Uh, so from what I've heard, you're gonna gain more talisman th slots. But you start with one. Hey, there's a shack here. Again, did we find any golden seeds or anything yet? I don't think we did, huh? I think you find those. I don't even know. I found them by a go. Oh! Not seen you before. Name's Bernard. Tarnished, just like you. Let Bernard. me ask you something. That is Vihand. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of Grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? I'm gonna say yes. Yes, you're a tarnished through and through. Takes me back. But that's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on. Oh, he sells Ashes of War. So we got the regular, what looks like the Ultra Stomp slash a kick. <laughs> um, Endure, 
I'm gonna say that's perseverance. War cry, spinning slash. Uh, oh, and also notice, see where it says the weapon art itself. See where it says war cry. It's it's if you choose the optimal thing that it comes with, like scaling wise, it's heavy. It's still gonna be fine on like other other infusements, but. There are some that are much better on their like regular scaling. So Keen is like Dex. I actually like Impaling Thrusts. That was a cool looking one. <laughs> oh, so you should you can give like your shield that has like a dumb skill you don't like. Um no skill. Interesting. Uh I'm on Windows 10, uh, Greg. Gundeer's kick, nice. Okay, so I think I might get the impaling. It is Dex though. I could get the the strength ones like kick or persevere, tough. But this thrust could be also useful just to have like a thrust attack that brings you in quick, you know. I can come back here and buy more though. Um, let's go with the thrust one for now. I actually want to try it, well. not on this weapon, but that could be useful on some other ones, like a great sword. You know, I'm just I'm just thinking like. How good would a greatsword be if you could just thrust it forward like that? And you can! but I, And I can keep it standard scaling. Not that it's too bad dex, to be honest. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty cool with the greatsword. I'm a little heavy with the shield, though, if I do use the greatsword. So there, there's that. <laughs> there's that. Uh, quick steps by Hander. Okay, so he stays here. Let's There's talk to him a second. Of battle arts in the mementos of all the warriors who raised their arms in battle. A fine tale. All oh, that's how I fell in love with the sword. It grants meaning even to full. So he's just talking well. about like weapon skills. Cool. And this is now. It's just called the War Master Shack. I'll remember that so I can uh, get that whenever I want. All right. So I think we like definitely looked around this general area quite a lot. Um, I haven't gone at all to the left, so what would be the fastest way there? Here, or the church? Or this? Maybe the church. Uh, I haven't been a mage yet, Brain, so I'm not sure. This way tarnished. May I have a word? Oh, it's the other melon. Why am I still heavy? <laughs> okay, it looks like we're staying on the katana until I level up endurance a little bit more. A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Rena. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Huh. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. I can call the ah, Torrent. As I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee by Torrent's former master. Oh, that's how I was wondering how you even summon that. <laughs> Elf calling forth spirits, summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree, the spirits will obey thine command. But brief now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. Okay, wait. Forgive mine intrusion, tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. Hmm. But all the same. Learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? Ah, so she's not she's not a fond of the two fingers. That's what I've gathered from that storyline. And I got the ash bell, so hey. Not too bad. Ah, uh, no, there's no like one storyteller. There's just like a bunch of NPCs. You're kind of like piecing together your own story always while they're telling parts to you as you go through. Not really telling, you're experiencing it. Sorry, I might have sounded confusing, but Dark Souls storylines are pretty confusing if you don't pay close attention. Uh, well, Elden Ring, <laughs> but you know. Um, okay, so we can probably go down. Oh, wait. We didn't go up here either. Those things usually have items on them, so I just want to check that out quick. Those, like, monuments. <laughs> Big Hat Rena, <laughs> is that what you call her? Um... Oh, actually, yeah, here, I'll show this off for a second. So, this will lead you to hidden uh, dungeons if you have no idea of anything in the area. There's not a lot of them, but... You say F? Um...
it. I'll refresh it. I guess. This is telling me that I'm not having any bitrate drops. If I was, I could do something about it. Maybe it's just YouTube's ingest server. Um. Maybe, you know what? Hang on. If you guys can hear me, I'm going to relaunch OBS. Hmm. I guess. Yeah, the, honestly, there's, there's nothing that I can do. You heard me? That's so strange. I mean, it could just be YouTube. Is it for everyone or like, is it fine for some people? The only other thing I can think of is uh, maybe real. I mean, the game is fine. I don't. I don't understand. Oh, do you see the game right now? Okay, maybe I'll task manager it and close the game, and then uh, we'll relaunch both. If that doesn't work, I legit probably have to relaunch my PC. So. Yeah, I'm going to close the game and then I'm going to just hard close OBS for a second. My stream should stay on if I'm fast enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I relaunched both. Um, is it fine now? I did like a full close of both things, so... If it's not either of those, then it's YouTube's injection, yeah. And that's something you just have to wait out. Is it is it still like that, like constantly? If I have to restart the stream, that's terrible, but I mean... If it's like that for everyone, then... Hmm... Still laggy, still doing it. Let me see. Yeah, I don't. Maybe if I reattach the game, you're hearing the audio perfectly fine though, right? Or is it is it stuttering? Cause like, I don't get it. It might just be YouTube, honestly. And if that's the case, no, but no, you're not understanding though. Like when it's the streamer's internet, OBS tells you that most of you are having that issue. So I think, I think we're going to restart, I guess, if it, I have no other idea what it could be because OBS is fine. The game is fine the video is not fine so if that's the case i need to do a full reset for the oh, youtube stream i guess youtube's buffer if i restart it again and it's still there um then it's definitely youtube but by the way so i am gonna restart i guess but when i do restart it's gonna be a different stream location like this video that we have here is gonna save as its own video you know what i mean so uh you'll get a new notification if you do want to watch it And then if it uh, if it keeps happening, then we'll go to Twitch. 